everybody, welcome back to Just Push to Play. We are go continuing on with the Blackwood Story Zone quests, uh, the new DLC for the next uh, content recently came out. And if you go over to the Crown Store uh, to the quest starter, it's uh, under that, under Prologue Quest in Apocalyptic situation. <laughs> I received a letter from someone claiming to be the Dramora Lyrin. She wants to meet me with her agent, Raja Sina Sina, concerning an urgent matter in my alliance capital. This is the the pro this is the prologue quest for the Didlets. So that's the next uh, DLC for the Blackwood Zone story. Go ahead and purchase that. It's free. Should be free for everybody. All right, and it said my alliance capital. I think that's, uh, that's, whatchamacallit, Corridon, right? Oh, it's, uh, okay. So since I'm a high elf, it's in Grantwood at uh, Elden Root. And I actually have a house over here, so let's go ahead and just travel to that. Even though there's like a way shrine right behind me. <laughs> you were there. Did Indania really rise from the dead? Wow, well, why is this person like all the way in the outskirts? You're the mortal adventurer the Dread Lady seeks. I assumed you'd be, well, taller. Still, my mistress knows best. I bring you a message from Lyrinth, the lovely and powerful Dramora. Hear the words her prophet speaks and be enthralled. You're her prophet? <laughs> so, a message from a Dramora? What is this? I've met Lyrinth before. I'm not sure why I'm phrasing it this way. The Dread Lady requires a mortal's perspective. She finds the situation merely curious, but says it has apocalyptic consequences for our plane of existence. Oh. Congratulations, mortal. She has chosen you, and she promises compensation if you survive. Uh, you seem rather calm about delivering an apocalyptic message from a Dramora. Calm, I, I suppose. But I have faith in Lyrinth, and she seems to have faith in you. I'll mark the destination on your map. Plus, I secured transportation. The regal, sweet daffodil. Oh, and take this pendant. You'll need it when you get there. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll take... I'll let sweet daffodil take me to your dread lady. That must be the horse. Sweet daffodil <laughs> will whisk you directly to the location. Once there... You must get past the creatures that roam the place to find Lyran's hidden lair. The pendant will alert you when the time comes to use it. Then, just follow the trail of energy. Oh. How will the pendant reveal Lyran's hidden lair? Isn't it obvious? The pendant contains an epiphany blood ruby. It tingles when it senses residual portal magic. Use it, and it will lead you to Lyran's lair. How ironic. She chose you to assist her. Not her prophet, but you. A heathen <laughs> adventurer. Uh, you remind me of Raja Tessina. I actually don't remember who that is. Please, I am nothing like my insipid older brother. Nothing oh. at all. I am the Dread Lady's true prophet. Her voice resounding in the mortal realm. Her herald on the plain of Nern. Hmm. Where did I meet Rajatus? Was he a deliverer like she is for a previous DLC? I, I can't remember. Uh, he also claimed to be Lyric's prophet. My dim witted brother claims to be many things. The Dread Lady and I allow him his delusions. Makes it easier to get him to accomplish the few tasks that aren't beyond his limited skill set. You should feel honored that this time my mistress sent me. 
So besides delivering messages for the Dread Lady, what does a prophet do exactly? Speaking the words of some higher power is the standard definition of a prophet. And there is no higher power than my mistress, no matter what the other temples or shrines may tell you. I do whatever the Dread Lady asks, and am honored to do so. Hmm. Well... Clear at the, the Dramora, and I go way back. Yes! I am aware of your relationship with my mistress. It may not be as intimate as mine, <laughs> but she does seem to have a certain fondness for you. Still, we must not use her name so casually. Enemies abound, and mortals become skittish so easily. <laughs> Lyrith is fond of me? Oh, not in any romantic or mortal interpretation of the word. Not even in the way a child is fond of a puppy or kitten. Dramora aren't like us. You must have realized that by now. But my mistress finds you... interesting. <laughs> yes, that's the word. Yes. Huh. Uh, well, you mentioned em enemies. A group of Dagonists, known as the Order of the Waking Flame, has been interfering in my mistress's activities of late. They are of no real concern to her, but I don't want to attract their attention. I suggest you take similar precautions. Oh. Uh, yeah, I have, uh, I have experience with the Order of the Waking Flame. So, Sweet Daphnil is an unusual mount, isn't she? That she is, although gender isn't what you imagine when it comes to classifying Daedric entities. It took a lot of effort to summon her to this plane, just to provide you with convenient transportation. My mistress insisted, however, so I complied. Oh, is it safe? Sweet Daffodil would never harm a flesh fly, let alone a favored curiosity of the Dread Lady. But just to be on the safe side, I suggest not getting too close to her fiery bits. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay, well, it looks like she's taking me to Adele. Uh, what's the Lyrence letter. Oh. Little mortal, I am the Demora Lyrence. You may know me, you may not. I have hard, a hard time remembering some specific individu individuals of your kind. Yes, we've met. Did we meet or did you simply come to my attention by other means? What doesn't matter? I am writing to you now. You must travel to your Alliance capital and meet with my agent, Rajatina Sila. She will provide further details and transportation so that we may meet in person as agents of Marin Dagon are watching my every move. I do not want to trust such vital information to the security of a fragile wax seal. I have uncovered a situation that I find curious. It could be construed as apocalyptic to you and your world. Rajatina will tell you more. Come quickly. Oh. Okay. Well, let's head on over. Did man's drop. Alabal Tor. All right. Well, let's use this uh, Epony Blood Ruby pendant. Oh, and just uh, I had meant to mention this at the start of the video. The clothing that I'm wearing right now is part of the Deadlands uh, outfit style. Um, I actually can't remember where I picked it up, but I, I got like, I think I got the full set at one point. It was probably one of the gold uh, I, uh, armor and uh, armor and weapon sets. Kind of nice all the enemies have been did so far. Ooh, there's a uh, fiery crack here. Residual, uh, residual portal energy. Ah, Lyric's hidden lair. Okay. 
it was a nice surprise to see that the uh, Didlin's uh, armor had a skirt and not pants or a long skirt. <laughs> Uh, I like the short skirt, and there's very not very many uh, pieces of clothing you can get in the game that look this way. The blade. So. Remove the blade. <gasps> Liren! Damn enchanted blade. I'll need to figure out how they were able to use it to trap me. But first, we need to talk. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Ah, little mortal. Your timing is impeccable as always. Of course, if you had arrived just a few moments earlier, I might not have wound up with that damn blade stuck in my chest. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Uh, well, what happened here, Lerith? Must I say it? That the Dramora you know and admire had a lapse in judgment? That she failed to take her surroundings into account when she opened her portal? Very well, little mortal. I erred and the waking flame took advantage of the opportunity. It's okay, Lyrith. Everybody makes mistakes. <laughs> the waking flame. The order of the waking flame, to be right. precise. Fanatics devoted to Mehrun's Dagon. I know who they are. Prince of Destruction. Two of the cultists followed before the portal closed and surprised me, incapacitated me with that enchanted blade. Hmm. Were they trying to kill you? Quite the opposite. The blade carries a unique enchantment I've never encountered before. It paralyzed me. Hmm. Gave them the time they needed to portal in others and ransack the place. Hmm. Quickly, check my coffer. Make sure the velvet pouch is still safe. All this trouble for a velvet pouch? It's what the velvet pouch contains that matters. I'm still attempting to ascertain its purpose. But since the Dagonists want it, it must be important. My coffer rests on the nearby pedestal. Check on it while I examine this accursed blade. Well, first, Rajina said that the situation was apocalyptic. Care to explain? Why do mortals insist on receiving every detail, no matter how insignificant or profound, before they accomplish the task at hand? Because... Apocalyptic. Just what you might imagine where the Daedric Prince of Destruction is concerned. Does this have anything to do with what we found in the Red Petal Bastion? Uh, which is a dungeon I hopefully will be releasing as a dungeon story sometime in the near future. I just haven't had time to do it yet. As a matter of fact, it does. The Velvet Pouch contains the relic I acquired for services rendered. Now go. Make sure the relic remains safe in its pouch. The Dagonists also sought it, so that's reason enough to want to keep it out of their hands. Oh. Why go to all the trouble of an enchanted blade instead of just killing you? That's a good question. Dramora are difficult to kill, and that's doubly true where I'm concerned. Besides, we don't actually die, not as mortals do. Our essence simply returns to oblivion, and we are reconstituted. How long that takes varies. The blade was more prudent. Mm. More prudent? How so? The Dagonists went to great lengths to forge a blade capable of trapping a Dramora inside its incapacitated body. Instead of simply slaying this form and risking I would return too quickly, they chose to entrap me. Uh, well, okay, so... Thinking this over, <laughs> I my character must be pretty powerful because I have easily killed Dramora before. And secondly, uh, I mean, once they have her paralyzed, they could have just chopped off her head and she would have been dead. So I'm not sure uh, about this whole reasoning they're trying to tell us here. <laughs> can they do that to when? Can they do that to you whenever they want? I need to study the magic to be sure, but I don't think so. An enchantment of that magnitude is complex and requires a multitude of resources. I doubt they have other such blades just lying around and ready to use. I will be more cautious, however. Mm. They probably could have given a better excuse or just left out that question altogether. Um, remind me about the Prince of Destruction and the Waking Flame. 
Mehrunes Dagon is a powerful Daedric prince, ruler of the Deadlands and the so-called God of Disaster and Revolution. His mortal followers call themselves the Order of the Waking Flame. They are his devoted servants here on Nern. Hmm. Is this related to Leovic's secret and the four ambitions? Perhaps, but I have yet to establish a firm link between these activities and those related to the Longhouse Emperor's plots. Regardless, I have every indication that Dagon seeks to unleash destruction upon this plane of existence. All right, all right, let me check this box. It looks open, so I doubt it's here. It's oh, gone, it is. isn't it? Search the rest of my lair. Find the cultist I wounded before the blade brought me low. Uh, the pouch is here. I might have been incapacitated, but that didn't hinder my senses. I knew I saw the wounded cultist near my coffer from the corner of my eye. Find him and recover what was stolen from me, little mortal. I will follow when I can. So it must be an empty pouch. Whatever Lyra's placed in this beautiful velvet bag is no longer here. Its ties have been cut and its contents removed. Hmm. Alright. Not far to go to uh, figure out where, uh, or what happened. Not sure if there are any really good secrets, like chests or loot in this area. These, uh, these doors are really cool. I knew I delivered a killing blow. Surprised he made it this far before collapsing. Search the body and retrieve my stolen item. Sure. Show me what you found, mortal. It's a letter. Uh, let me take a quick look around the room. And I'll read the letter. And then you can have it. Waking Flame Letter. This letter contains instructions for members of the Order of the Waking Flame, commanding them to acquire an item from Larenth and return it to a camp in Green Jade. Devastator Ruin, your mission is vital. You must not fail. All of the Order's plans and the rewards promised by Mayrun Sagan depends on the utmost success of your team. The Dremora known as Lawrence has acquired an item from the Red Petal Bastion. You must find her, track her to whatever lair she is using here in Tamriel, and take the item for the Order. The Enchanted Blade will make sure she cannot interfere, but have whoever wields it time their strike well. She won't give them a second chance. Once you take possession of the item, return to the place where Umbrage creeps in green shade. I shall eagerly await your arrival. Doom bringer Razirene. Hmm. If I remember correctly, in the Red Petal Bastion, we she found a uh like a box. Like a uh jewelry box, kind of. Uh but we didn't see what was in it. Well, little mortal, did you recover the item that Maggot stole from my coffer? Was it in one of his pockets, as I suspected? No, all I found was this letter, but it tells us where to go next. Let me see that. Hmm. 
This letter names the maggot I killed. Devastator Rulin. Uh -huh. And it mentions Greenshade. I wonder what they're doing in that miserable place. They seem to be after your item specifically. Indeed. My relic. When I learned that the cult wanted it, I decided to acquire it before they could. I covered my tracks, but apparently not well enough. Can you tell me more about the relic? There isn't much to tell. I have yet to determine the relic's purpose or function. I was just preparing to study it when the cult invaded my lair. No matter. The letter tells us where to find the Dagonists. I'll open a portal. Alright. Two green shades. I shall never get used to Nern's smell. Come, mortal. We have plans to discuss. You mean fresh air and flowers and, uh, maybe animal? When close to animals? <laughs> so much greenery and animal life. How do you mortals stand it? Never mind. Rhetorical question. Let us go deal with the Dagonists and retrieve the relic they took from my lair. How do we find the Order of the Waking Flame? The note you discovered contains the answer. Where Umbridge creeps. It can only refer to one place in this region. Shadows Crawl. I have no doubt we'll find the Dagonists near there. Shadows Crawl sounds like a big place. Any way to narrow down our search? The Dagonists use portal magic. I can smell its residue on the air. The pendant that Rogatina gave you. It can be used to follow traces of portal magic in the area. Where should I start my search? Right here. Simply use the pendant and follow the trail of the residual magic. Then use it again once the trail turns cold. We must retrieve the relic they stole from me. I shall pursue my own investigation and meet you once we locate the cultists. Okay. So it's not having us go too far away. Thunderbug! <laughs> what are those? Hollow archers. Oh. Like I need to recharge my staff. Like it has us coming over here. What is this? Nice how they just dragged us through enemy territory right there. How did she overcome the blade? 
Never mind that. Get in and I'll close the portal. I don't think so. <laughs> A simple spell will keep the portal open. Great. Mortal, this way. We're at the portal, uh, the Waking Flames camp. I expected Dagon's bootlickers to have grander accommodations than a simple cave. Look around and find my relic, mortal. Where are we? I assume this cave serves as a base for the Waking Flame. Not very impressive, truth be told. Come. Let us find whatever hole those cultists use to store their valuables. I want the relic back in my possession before the next clan fear cause. All right. Search the area. <laughs> Leave no stone unturned. We must retrieve the relic they stole from me. I hear voices up ahead. It must be the cultists. Yep, they're all over the place down here. Or at least, I'm assuming they will be. The Dagonists. No better than Daedrats hiding in the bowels of these caves. They're almost done here. Then on to oblivion to see the cat. See the catalyst in action? Huh. I killed him too quickly there. Wasn't able to finish what he was saying. I do wish they would make uh, areas like this. The uh, more. Coming here was a mistake, Liren. I wish they'd make them solo. Doombringer Razarine. Oh. Well, that's the one who sent us the letter, I think. Finally! Search the camp and find my relic, little mortal. Yeah, I can understand, like, Del where that's it's a group area but areas like this should really be solo all sorts of things to search let's start with this one ah Laren's re relic right here well done mortal you found my relic give it to me stay alert little mortal the Dagonists are more dangerous than they appear Oh. oh, there's something up here also. Waking Flame Correspondence. Doombringer Reza Reen learned the Dramora attained the portal key I want, send Devastator, Ruin, and a few acolytes to retrieve it, but make clear that the key is worth more than their lives. Without it, our plans could face a significant setback. Our time to get the catalyst up and running grows short. I am loath to relinquish the blade for this task, but we must take the Dromora off the board. Her interference can no longer be tolerated. Then why didn't you just kill her? Once they have the key, just line up the symbols I've uh, diagrammed here. It should open the portal that will take you to our base in Oblivion. Then you and the others can bring me the portal key. We'll need it to access additional realms from this location. And bring the schematics. Do not leave them behind. The last thing we need is for them to fall into the hands of someone opposed to our vision. 
That's exactly what's happening here, isn't it? <laughs> Return to us soon, along with the Devastator Ruin. You may witness the next test of the Catalyst. After that, we shall release the disaster upon the mortal realm. In Dagon's name, Sister Selinda. Seldina? Seldina? So this Sister Seldina wants my relic. And she provided directions on how to use it. Interesting. Yes, very, uh, oh. Very, uh, nice of them to do that for us. <laughs> oh, they respond. Right? Elgian's notes. Yes, yes, this will work perfectly. Perfectly. By combining the ritual with various components of Daedric design, I believe we can use the catalyst to overcome the natural resistances of the Daedra in order to transform them into something altogether new and different. Very exciting. Fighting, fighting, sighting, writing. I cannot wait to see the device in operation. Hmm. All right. Huh. Hmm, I thought there was something over there, too. Elegance Catalyst Schematic. Wow, it's like a, it is like a uh, Daedric machine. Kind of reminds me of what we saw in, uh, to oblivion to see the cataclyst in action. In Dagon. Which dungeon was that? The Dread Collar? The Dread I think it was the Dread Collar dungeon. Where Lyrinth got captured. Curious drawings. Definitely mechanical. But what was that about transforming Daedra? Intriguing. Uh-huh. A letter that conveniently lays out the cult's plans, schematics for some strange device, and my relic. Not bad for a day's labor. These items tell me much about what the Daganists are up to. What does the letter say? Or what does the letter signify? That this Sister Seldina had the audacity to order the cultists to steal my relic. And she gave them the damn blade that incapacitated me. Mm -hmm. She calls the relic a portal key. Claims it leads to some sort of base in oblivion. A base in oblivion? Yes, from which they plan to unleash disasters upon your world. I suspect it has something to do with these schematics. A diagram for some sort of device they call the Cataclyst. It has some purpose regarding Daedric transformation. Intriguing. Hmm. Huh. So, now what? My minion had better have completed the preparations I assigned her. Come. Marbrook Outlaws Refuge? Mistress, the adventurer approaches. Rajatina. Uh, what is going on here? Clarence, you got some explaining to do. We got lucky, little mortal. The letter we found indicated that Sister Saldina wanted the portal he brought to her after the cultists recovered it. For whatever reason, that didn't happen. Huh. Perhaps they were waiting for Devastator Rulin to return. Possibly. Devastator Ruin. That's the cultist you managed to kill in their lair, right? Well, it's actually the one that I killed on the way to uh, find her lost uh, relic. Yes, and whose corpse now rests before us. Uh, he will serve my purpose as well, I think. Time enough for that later. For now, take this. I understand that your kind expects such treats after performing clever tricks for your betters. I think she's either going to reanimate the corpse or uh, take his body as like a diagram to uh, 
make herself or me in the future uh, look like him so that we could try to sneak into uh, wherever uh, Dramora Cedrina is. We'll see, I guess. All right, gang, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Uh, they usually do these uh, quest starters in two different uh, quests. So um, we'll go ahead and cut the first part here since we just ended the first one and started the second. And next episode, we will see what we can do to uh, figure out what's going on with the relic and Sister Cell's staff. So until then, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.